uh, your grandmother's breast. <laughs> you shut up! That's the only thing I can think of! Name a body part you'd hate to have your doctor accidentally sew shut during an operation. Your vagina. Well, I'm gonna just have to go home and say this right here. I'm killing that doctor, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, we have no reason to live. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> yes! Name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of for the steal. His porn. Oh, y'all, y'all up in Wisconsin. Y'all ain't messing around up there. Okay. <laughs> For the win, his porn. <laughs> Name a place you'd hate to get caught on hidden camera. <laughs> Kristen. Uh, porn shop. Porn shop. You got porno magazines at the house. Your brother don't want his vagina so shut. And now you sitting up here don't want to get caught down at the porn shop. Why, why are you down there, Kristen? <laughs> Name a professional someone might be embarrassed to say they paid to see. A mechanic. Good answer, Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Mechanic! <laughs> Where have you been all day? I'm a mechanic. Where have you been, mister? I'm a mechanic. Speak up. I've been a mechanic. <laughs> I haven't met you, sir. Yes. Paul, I'm how Paul. you doing? I'm doing great. My man, you're the father. Yes. You're the you head this up This fabulous there. family. Absolutely. That's good. I, I didn't meet you at all, either. You're Vanessa? Vanessa, You're yes. married to? Delric. Delric. For almost a year. Um, a year? Mm-hmm. Oh, almost a still, year. Almost. Oh, yeah. so y'all still... <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all honeymoon. <laughs> huh? Big D, huh? Uh, you know yeah, what up, y'all? Yeah. Huh? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how men do. You know, when men say something, they don't care what they're... You know what I'm saying? You know, it don't really be words. It's just a thing that men do. Although now, are you gonna get at that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to work. We asked 100 women on a scale of one to 10 how necessary are men, you said, and eight survey said. <laughs> Number one answer was 10. Yeah, 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 we are. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> 10? Yeah, 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 10. Yeah. If a man's zipper broke at work, name something he might use to keep his fly closed. Glue. Yeah. No one will notice my fly open now. Can you ever guess what the... <laughs> the glue! I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I just knew no one would squirt glue on their pants. Hey, Jessica, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm a waitress at a Chinese buffet, but you know what I really do, Steve? I do the Family Feud workout, which helped me lose 40 pounds. You do the Family Feud workout and lost 40 pounds. I go to the gym, put uh -huh. on Family Feud for an hour, and go on the treadmill and watch you. Aww. And it helped me. <laughs> Help me 40 pounds, okay. girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, we gonna start something. <laughs> I see money. <laughs> family Feud workout, you lost 40 pounds. I didn't yes. lose nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't with me. Security. I was right with her and I didn't lose nothing. 
You were right with her. Right with her. And you didn't lose anything. Nothing. Nothing. It's age. I'm getting old. No. Well, you, Jeannie, you look okay. You look fine. Well, I don't know about that. No, 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 no. You never see me naked. (laughs) Walk away. Brown. Here's your chance, Dorothy. Name something you'd find at a funeral parlor. The brown babes are going with soft music. I've been to a bunch of people, never noticed the music. Maybe I was too caught up in the tra- trauma of the moment. So, but I was not going over there looking at the body going, that is my jam. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jams and music. Hey, Jess, how you doing? Good, thanks. Wow, you young. What do you do? I am going to my community college. Oh, you go to college? Yeah, I'll be a sophomore. Yeah, with them eyes, you got a couple boyfriends? Just one. one. (laughs) Let's get out of this one right here. Name something in your home that gets wasted. I'm going to say the people that live there. Where would she get that answer from? <laughs> you two got something to answer to. Oh, yeah. The people who stay there. <laughs> John, how you doing, I'm man? Very well, thank you. Nice to meet you. What do you do for a living, man? Actually, I lost my job to come here and play on a feud. Well, you need to win all the money you can. Yeah, that's man. right. <laughs> <laughs> John, they, they explained this whole concept to you that there's a chance of winning money. Well, it wasn't my choice losing a job, to tell you the truth. Oh, okay. Oh, you lost a job. I yeah, yeah, I told them I was coming on a feud, and they said, if you go on a feud, you lose your job. And I said, I'm going on a feud. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that is not a good answer. In the last year, Name a place where you've been naked. Uh, in a dressing room. In a dressing room. <laughs> you see, if you're naked in the dressing room, that means you don't have underwear on to begin with. <laughs> That's true, but some people don't wear it anyway. So what you trying to say, Joy? <laughs> <laughs> Name something people put between two bunks. Come on. Go ahead. (laughs) Go ahead. Your hands? My man. My man. My man. My man. I saw it in your eyes. I saw it in I was looking at it. I said, go ahead. Say it. Say it. Say it. I know you're going to say it. Say it. Say it. Your hands. Name a reason a man might not be up for a night of lovemaking. Joyce. He's tired. He's tired. We got a play, Steve. He's tired. I don't know. (laughs) That ever stopped you, dude? Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. Name something a person might change if they were trying to hide from the law. Their car. Oh, you know, car. Car. Yeah, car. Hey, we don't pronounce that rise in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> the car. <laughs> For a moment, I was just sitting there. The car. <laughs> we need another letter here, Dave. The car. C A. Car. Car. Come on out with it, Dave. The car. <laughs> Give me something that's floppy. It's hard. Uh, your grandmother's breast. <laughs> that's, the only thing. that's the only thing I can think of. I'm right. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Sonia. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, okay, what is it? Then? Sonia. <laughs> What the hell I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? Didn't I just say Sonia? He 
You said Sonia. Sonia. Okay, well, I'm it's sorry. It's Sonia. Okay, well, you need to put some more damn letters in your name. <laughs> and you want Sonia. Take that J out. I get sick of people naming their babies these crazy names. And then you meet a guy like me, and then you gonna blame me because I don't get it right. Oh, will you see Sonia on there anywhere? Just, just Sonia. Okay. Lexus, how you doing? Hello. Good. What do you do, darling? I'm a high school student and oh. I'm a singer-songwriter. What, what what type of music? Um, I like folk and like just anything alternative. You do it because you love it. I do. Yeah, because there's like no money in folk. <laughs> Go to like country. Like, oh, country, that's different. I mean, no, like it's the same kind of. The same kind of music as country? Well, why don't yeah. you write country? Because they catch me. <laughs> okay, okay. A lot of money yeah. in country. Just slide over just a little bit. Quit singing about them reindeers and stuff. And <laughs> there's a tree in the forest, and I'm looking rather well. There's a bird up in heaven, and we're singing oh stuff. so well. There's a bug on the log, and I can't see it anymore. I'm just glad to be a songwriter for the folk of Lord. I write songs about nothing, clouds and bugs. I write songs nobody likes. I write songs no one buys. I don't like to care for money, but I'll write the song anyhow. I don't give a damn if you like it. We're going to play it anyhow. Oh. I write folk music. <laughs> mm. That was good. I always try to be encouraging of young people, yeah, so I understand. just ignore that comedy moment I had right there. <laughs> Name a creature people sometimes get rid of by flushing it down the toilet. I'm gonna have to go with um, after they go to the bathroom. And they flush that down the toilet, and they could call that a creature. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. If that's the criteria, I can't tell you the monsters that I flushed down the toilet. I said, well, I've actually flushed Godzilla down that puppy before. Woo! Okay. Let's get it on. Give me Renette. Give me Terry. Let's go. going, man, <coughs> look, you know, look, 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 guys, look, look, we want families with a lot of enthusiasm, but w w there's a purpose here. We got a game to play. Need y'all up here in your spots. Okay, you ready? We're yes, ready. Sir. Okay, yes, let's put your hand in that little circle there. You... All right, here we go, guys. Top six answers on the board. Name something a person might use to clean their belly button. Feather. Feather. <laughs> I see Joe is a sexy one in the family, huh? <laughs> Joe got feathers out, boy. Well, <laughs> Joe, that never crossed my mind. <laughs> Joe just probably said, I see something in there, sweetie, I'll tell you what. I got a feather. <laughs> yeah, I normally use it for other things, but if you hold still, I bet it'll do the same thing. <laughs> Name something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. <laughs> Tiffany. Wipe themselves. I'm going to use a restaurant. <laughs> they wipe themselves. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Gigi? OK. Um, I would say have a baby. Man can't do that. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> 
Okay. Hello, baby. Okay, go ahead. Name a part of a person's body that even a cannibal would spit out. Dominic. The butt. <laughs> yep, butt meat. <laughs> butt meat. <laughs> Name a part of a person's body that even a cannibal would spit out. Their private parts. This, man. This, this show is chewy. What is it? <laughs> the private parts. <laughs> name a seasoning a stripper might use as her stage name. Norman. Cayenne. Cayenne. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, Norman. <laughs> Aunt Cayenne. <laughs> That's way down the spice line. You just rip, boy, that right now. If Cayenne ain't up there, we know where she at. Yeah. <laughs> Cayenne. I'm gonna go with time. <laughs> I ran out of ideas for seasoning. You, you, you know, when you come up with these names, Kind of just like imagine the announcer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for time. I think I like it. I like it. You like it? Like That's it. hot. That's Let's amazing. see who else liked it. It's time. <laughs> Name something a man might put in his speedo to try to look manlier. A balloon? A Get balloon. In. Get in. Where you gonna put that? Hold on. A balloon. <laughs> Bethany, how you doing? How you doing today, darling? I'm great. How are you? You're a very interesting person to me. Thank you. you. Are you a musician? I'm a musician and I'm a hula hooper. What do you mean by that? Well, with our music, we like to. Uh, oh, hula when, hoop. when you do your music, you're hula hooper. We could do it at the same time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know how to. <laughs> I got to like see you got this. It. Are you all on YouTube or anything? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, what is it? We are The Moon is a Disco Ball. All right. <laughs> I'm going to make it catch on. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into straight fire. Do I'm going to have so many people. No problem with that. Thank the world is a Thank disco you. ball. The moon? The moon. Oh, the moon the is moon. a disco ball. The moon. Well, yeah, it looks well, like Well, hell, one. they clapped harder when I said the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've come up with something. I like the it. The world Woo! is a disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how sexy is your walk? One. <laughs> one. Let me see it. <laughs> Let me see it. Just walk. <laughs> one. That's a one. That's a solid one, Steve. Yeah, that's a one. <laughs> And your brother was hammering you. That's a one yeah. before you even started. <laughs> Survey said. All right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So walk finally pays off. There you yeah. go. Okay, Bethany, we talked to 100 married women. What would you do if you noticed that the maid's child looked exactly like your husband? Cut her hair off. <laughs> <laughs> the curly little locks. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Having my husband's baby. <laughs> you sit in this chair, miss. It ain't gonna look pretty either. Any particular style you want? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Tell me a word a married man would use to fill in the blank. I would blank for sex. <laughs> James. Pay. <laughs> I gotta fill in this up there. Number 
one. That is a sad, <laughs> sad Very statement sad. Very sad. about married men. Completely agree. I'm gonna kick it up a notch and say, kill. I would kill. I would kill. Yes! Kill! Kill! Yes! Yes! Tell me a word a married man would use to fill in the blank. I would blank for sex. Now, this isn't me. <laughs> I would... I would cry for sex. Baby, did, did you let the two women down there influence your answer? <laughs> yes, you did. Why would you do that? <laughs> this is a guy question. I'm not gonna cry. This not... Cry! <laughs> Some big dude laying on her crying. <laughs> Number four. Die. Die. We'll buy it. We'll kill you about it. We'll beg you for it. We'll lie about it. And at the end of the day, we'll lay down our life for it. <laughs> Justin, how you doing, man? Good. How old are you? 16. 16. What do you want to do when you grow up? Uh, I plan to travel as long as possible and then probably settle down. Hopefully, if I can make it till 30 or so. <laughs> you people that's over 30, you didn't know how lucky you were to be alive, did you? He's just hoping to get to 30 or so. Oh, God, when I get into the Death Valley, I just hope I... Love kids, man. A woman would love to be told she has a sexy what? I think it's a sexy butt. <laughs> okay, they're saying that's the same as body or figure. Okay. Okay. We all know, fellas, that's not the same thing. Okay. <laughs> it has, has broken grown men down. Yeah. It has caused more car wrecks. Texting is not the number one cause of car wrecks. <laughs> it is men turning around yeah. to look at the booty <laughs> of a woman. What do you do, darling? I am a stay-at-home mom slash activities director at a nursing home. Activities director at a nursing home? Yes, sir. Okay. But we like to do special stuff. We take them on elephant rides, up in hot air balloons. You take old people up on elephant rides? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, need to clear up some beds. <laughs> Time for the annual elephant ride. <laughs> Kayla, name a part of a body a man might be embarrassed to admit he shaves. I'm going to say his butt. <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> the guy that's on this board right now, who is this guy? And if butt is up there, butt! Why? She does wax in that her beauty <laughs> shop. And men wax the hair off their butts? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I can hook you up. I hear, she said, I can hook you up. <laughs> Miss Laura, yes. how you doing? I'm doing fine. The I've been waiting for you. Fox. Thank you. Thank that you. is great. Beautiful I've... hair. Thank you. Good. I've been waiting for you. You've been waiting for me. Now, how good are you at sports? How good am I at sports? Yeah. Baby, mama. That, after you did that, if I weren't married and didn't have all these sons, I'd become your cougar. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, it's a new term out there. Oh, it is? See, cougar, if you're 40, and even though you look very young, 
after <laughs> once you're past 40 and you go for younger guys, you're a mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play the game. Yes. Silver Fox, here we go. Okay. Name something a cheap guy might put in a stripper's G string. His hand. His hand. Uh, go down. Yeah. Mama. Well, you let mama play, she play, don't she? <laughs> oh. Your hand. <laughs> Name something that some people do in the shower and others don't. Make whoopee. Oh, I get it yeah. out. Yeah. That's why my wife oh, wash yeah. her hair in my shower. Make whoopee. Yeah. Alessio. How you doing, Steve? That's a great name. Thank man. you. I love that name, <laughs> Thank Alessio. You. you go to college? I do. <laughs> Which college you go to? Gordon College. <laughs> What's your major? <laughs> I'm a voice major. I study yes. music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something else to talk about. <laughs> a voice major. Yes, sir. Can, can, can you sing something you feel you like? You want me to? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Steve Harvey, I want to win some money, please. <laughs> yeah. <There you> go. <laughs> and I want to let you win it, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> Me and you doing a duet somewhere. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a fifth grade teacher, but I'm a former Marine sergeant. Wait, I, I, don't, I don't look like I could have been a Marine to you? Well, I'm, well, you don't sound like it. Oh. You're a very nice lady. All right, Steve, drop, give me 20 right now. There you go. Oh, yeah. Move it, move it, move it. One, two, three, four, four, ten. Uh, too slow, get back. Too slow, get back. I'm proud of you. you yeah, I jump right out of there. Y'all gonna have to come to the gym with me from now on. I found out I show out in front of girls better. <laughs> <laughs> James, my man, how you doing, baby? How you doing fine, Steve? I'm gonna put a dimple in your tie if you don't mind, sir. Okay. I want you to take it like this. Wait a minute. That's the Steve Harvey yeah. tie. Hey! Hey, let me tell you something, Jay, Jay, that almost matched what the play I'm on. Boy, boy, boy. All right, this is what I want you to do this time and time, Ms. Ruby. When he ties, it takes the two I ends know I and pull it. I know you tied the tie because you run the house. You, you can't, the man can't go gambling. He can't talk on the show. You're he can't say nothing. That. He can't do nothing you don't without tell, you, Ms. Ruby. Now you can set up the tie. The man said, You bought the tie. <laughs> That's how I know you're tied. <laughs> You pick I, out his clothes, you probably think... named him James. The man named him probably I, I something else. Him... The man mama probably called him something else. You to hell with that. We called him James. No. Now you stop listening to me. Pull this tie right here. Next time you tie, pull it like that right there. See how that dimple sit in the middle of that tie? Look how sexy that look. Now you want it now, don't you? Oh, yeah. I want to be the way it goes. I know that's right. Hey. Name something a bear does in the woods. A bear kills. Other animals. Good answer. No, that's not hunting. That's just a murder. <laughs> <laughs> this this bear just for no damn reason. <laughs> it's out killing other animals. <laughs> Miss Ruby. Yes. Name something that might get in the way when you're kissing. Mustache. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. You know, Miss Ruby, you just gonna stare at me. You see how she was coming today? 
Your damn mustache. <laughs> Well, I try to keep it clean. I'm trying to keep it clean. Oh, <laughs> the mustache. <laughs> Jennifer, name something and make it away when you're kissing. I'm going to say big lips. Well, let's see if that's up there. Good answer. <laughs> big lips just sitting right up under that big fat mustache. <laughs> let's go. If two 100 year old people got married, what might they do on their honeymoon night? Well, since they're so old, we're thinking they might pass away. Die? Yeah. yeah. Now, good answer. They're old. Yeah. They're old. They're old. They live a happy life. It's been a happy life. <laughs> You're killing grandma and grandpa for an answer on the poker. You shut up. <laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What do you do for a living, man? I'm an actor. I'm a full-time actor. You're an actor? That's mm -hmm. always interesting. Lean in a little bit. Thank you. How long have you been acting? Four years. Yeah, what do you do? What type of? Mostly TV and film. So what's the goal, Brad? Where, where, do, you want, where do you want it to go? Follow great examples, like uh, I know this guy named Steve Harvey. Talk about him. Oh, oh man. Go ahead. Let oh, him go. Man. Let him go. You know, when you talk about somebody who's made contributions man, and, and, talk, and, come on and, now. and, and, and cross lines. Man. Uh, and, and brought out uh, great games. I like that watch, by the way. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> you know, he's talking about... I made talking a few about, dollars, man. Yeah, man, man. He's talking about... <laughs> you know, you know, you know, this ain't the first show. <laughs> Name something that starts with the word doggy. Excuse me, Mom, but doggy style... What the hell are you laughing so hard? <laughs> Character. <laughs> Tell you must up I am. I thought it was number one. <laughs> we asked 100 men, what would you do if you took a date to a restaurant that turned out to be more than you could afford? Michael. Ditcher. Mike, you know, there's an opportunity since this show is taped, we could edit this out. Are you, you sure that's the answer you want to give with the uniform on? Okay, let's go for it. On behalf of the United States Army, we're ditching her. So let, give me Come something on. about a person's lips that would make a good night kiss a bad night kiss. They're too big. They are too... That's a wedding ring. <laughs> Somebody don't feel the same way you feel. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Lips are too big. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> Obviously, Philip. You ain't had a set of these puppies on you before. <laughs> That's why I said they're too big. Ooh. For that, <laughs> I have you looking for me in the daytime with a flashlight. <laughs> Carol, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I've been waiting to meet you. Oh, good. I've been waiting to see you. Have you really? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah, because I really like you. So talk in the mic. I've been waiting to see you. I've been watching the show for years. Wow. And you're the best so far of hosts. You are the best. You are the greatest. There's no one like you. Yes. And I love your facial expression. Yes, yes. I didn't say I loved you because your wife might get mad. That don't worry about yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to worry right no, now? No, my, my wife don't get ratings counted. You keep talking. <laughs> Plus, I'm too old for you. Uh-uh. Oh. Damn, you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> I've never interviewed anybody up here before. This is really nice. Um, well, I, I can help you. Okay, I like <laughs> it. I really enjoyed it, though, Miss Carol. Thank you, thank you. And all the nice things you said about me, that'll never get edited out of this show. Oh, good, I hope not. You I better want, believe it, Because I've been waiting to see you. Edit it out, I quit. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We're down to business. Hey, point values are tripled, everybody. We've got the top four answers on the board. Name something that might happen while you're bending over, touching your toes. Miranda? Your underwear shows. Your underwear shows. <laughs> Carol? Oh, you hurt your back. You hurt your back. Yeah, you did it! Yeah, we're gonna play! Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> That's what you said! You got it! You got it! I know what I can tell you! Oh, thank you! Yes! You're yeah. welcome! I you. can't believe it! Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go as soon as you go over there! Go, darling! Hi, Carol. Hi, Steve. Wow, boy, oh boy, oh boy. How you doing? What do you do? Well, I'm retired, yeah. and uh, we moved to the Cape in the summer, and my husband and I do part-time watching the pools, watching kids and that. But we don't save lives. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can hire we us. We watch the pool and your kids, but we're not jumping in saving anyone. <laughs> he jumped in. We were telling him, hope. <laughs> Swim away, swim away. He just, just kept going under. That'll be 150 for watching the pool, though, so. <laughs> Carol. What? It's a truth. I, I... <laughs> Name something specific you should never do while you're naked. Dance. Dance naked. <laughs> I tell you right now, you, I swear to you, you'll faint. I tell you that right there. If you a guy, that ain't the move you want to do. Not that right there. Not that. <laughs> Woo! She says dance. Hi, Kim. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, doing man? Great, great, great. What do you do for a living? I am a teacher and a personal trainer. Oh, yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, you nice, boy. Yeah, I can see you nice yeah, up under there. I appreciate well, that. What's your, what's your body fat percentage? I'm about 12%. 12%, that's yeah. nice, yes. that's nice. Yes. I'm 21. Okay. Yeah. I can get you down. No, 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 no you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. I go to dinner every night and I like what I'm eating, so. All right, let's go. Well, at least you know what you're talking about. You're gonna get a lot of customers. Name something specific you should never do while you're naked. I'm gonna say go skinny dipping. Sir? Yes. Uh, just wanted to just throw a little bit at you. Well, see, if you go skinny dipping, you're supposed to be naked. <laughs> Survey says? <laughs> Survey says! <laughs> this is a good one. Hey, Dave, how you doing, man? Good, man. Good. What do you do for a living, buddy? I'm a software analyst. Good. You married? Nope. Got somebody in the, on the radar? Yeah, maybe. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't want their hopes to go up, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, kinda. <laughs> guy don't, guy don't give away nothing, man. <laughs> How long you been dating this girl? Uh, well, just broke up. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> just broke up. Yeah. Whose fault was it? Baby? Never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Any chance uh, she might take you back, Dave? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Need that 20,000, huh? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come in here, you're out of my mind. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, I know what you <laughs> Miss Denise, how you doing? Wonderful. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, you got to pass this oh. boy. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Girl, this is going to be a tough day, Oh! Baby. Oh, glory. Glory! Glory, glory! Well, I sure hate to ask you this question. Uh. <laughs> this, uh, this ain't going good already. <laughs> oh, Hell, y'all ain't get this. <laughs> We talked to 100 married women, Miss Denise, and we asked them, what would you do if your husband wanted you to get a boob job? I would say yes, anything for you, honey. Go ahead, Pastor. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. Yes, anything for you, honey. Yeah. 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 Asia, let me ask you a question. You married? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Willie, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, 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 the flips are all they answers gonna be spiritual. <laughs> Want y'all get ready for this today. <laughs> it's a church family. <laughs> are you all in the uh, funeral, funeral business? No, no sir. No. This is, looks just like a funeral parlor, man. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who they trying to make a customer? <laughs> Willie, well, we ask 100 married women this. What would you do if your husband wanted you to get a boob job? How large? How large? <laughs> Do you want these puppies to be? <laughs> Denise? Hi, what do you do for a living, Denise? I am a software developer, but that's by day. In my spare time, yeah. I do aerial acrobatics. Excuse me? Aerial acrobatics. Aerial acrobatics? Yes. So imagine you hung a rope from the top of the studio. I mean... I uh, would climb that, wrap myself up, do a little bit of drops, do some poses, okay, some music. Okay, okay, well, well... <laughs> I've been trying to meet her all my life. <laughs> uh, but let me ask you this, though. People hire you. No, I don't get paid. I pay other people to do it. So it's, it's more of a hobby. <laughs> this is something else. I don't know what it is. You don't get paid and you pay other people. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, you ready? All right, yes. when you're talking to a friend on the phone, name something you hope they're not doing on the other end. I am hoping they are not having intimate relations with someone else. Yeah. Wow. Especially if they're up there on the rope. Especially. Let's hope they're not having intimate relationships with the people up there on the rope before she got there to pay the money. <laughs> Name something that should be serviced at least once a year. The vagina. <laughs> it's TV, Steve. It's TV, Steve. Let's go. Woo! That better be checked once a year. Better be checked once a year. Let's go. 
Let's go. Bing. Give me another name. I, I'm gonna say that, but what, give me another name. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Let me see. Hold up. Yeah, that, that was Boy, the look on his, yeah, the look on his, his face. Look, you you really? want me to go on and say that? No, no. I'm sorry. Let's just leave it alone. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable saying that. I did, too. Uh, what <laughs> women, what, ladies, give me another acute name for it. Boo-boo. Just the name for that. For JJ. The for JJ. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Yeah. But JJ, boy, that's such a good name. But JJ, but JJ, yes, I like to be JJ, but JJ, yes, but JJ, but JJ, how are you? Hope for JJ. Anyway, you know what? I love it for JJ. I like that. Ooh, that's so much better. Is it Lena? Lena. Hi, Lena. How oh, are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. And let me tell you, Steve, yes. my parents love you. I love your parents. They watch you every single day. They do, English. even though they don't speak English. They don't speak English. No, they're Italian, a little bit. They do speak a little bit, but they love you. What does she think I'm saying? Oh, oh no, no, no. She, 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 she just loves you, the way you move around, the yeah. way you talk to people, that's what that is. your way, you, the that's dress. What that is. Yeah, I see you. No. I see you. I see you. No. I see you. Fantastic. I see you. you are. I, see. I feel your mama. Oh, feel mama, mama feels you. I feel, I feel. <laughs> Nonna, nonna, no, 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 it's no, 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 mama, my mama. So, so you all from Italy? Yeah, I, well, I well, I was born there. Yeah. Yes. That's that's why I asked you that. Yes. <laughs> I was only twelve when I immigrated here. Only twelve. Only twelve. Yes. I was four when I immigrated here. <laughs> yeah, I came from West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you from, Lena? Um, I do interpreting. Okay, Italian. See, si, see. Si. What I want you to say is. Oh, mama. Is, <laughs> My mother loves you because you are so sexy. Oh. Mamma ti ama perché sei molto sessuale. Fantastico. Well, I'll tell you something. Paul, you got your hands full of him, boy. Oh, Paul, and rub his head, too? Keep <laughs> oh, it shiny. I know, and it gets sexy at y'all's house, don't it? <laughs> Portolino, Colette, Portobello. All I know in Italian is Portobello mushroom. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Lena, you made it. You're on Family Feud. Thank Mom's you. Mom's watching. She's proud. Say something to her right now. Mama. Ti amo. There you go. CC. CC. Who is CC? Oh, CC is. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Papa, CC. You know, I'm black. Oh. Who is no. CC? How you doing, Steve, man? How are you? Let me how tighten you? you up a little okay, bit. Please what do you do? do for a living, sir? I'm a uh, pharmaceutical representative. Oh, my man, you got a good job. Yes, you married? Sir. Uh, no, not oh, yet. Oh, all right now. Yeah. All right now. <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh, you got money, benefits. You ain't met nobody yet? Um, actually, I, I am seeing somebody quite special, so. All right, yes, quite sir. special. Yes, all sir. Right. <laughs> you done pretty much locked it down. You done made a decision. Well, you know, it's still a work in progress, like all things, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, she ain't here. Is she, is she here? She is here. She's here? Yes. Well, let's see. Who is she? Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My man! <laughs> hey, that's how we do it, Steve. That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you right now, that's baby. How we do it, Steve. All right, I'll see you. <laughs> Alicia, how you doing? I'm doing good, Steve. Oh. Well, what is that, baby? <laughs> what, you got a nice bracelet? <laughs> Do what any gentleman would do. Do what any gentleman would do. <laughs> no, 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 no,
I know you felt that way about me. I know, baby. Don't worry about that. Richard Dawson don't do the show no more. Uh, my wife told me, don't, you ain't going out there to kiss nothing. Uh. <laughs> Name something in this house a man might try to lift that would give him a hernia. I would say tools. Good answer. 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 Ooh, that big old screwdriver. Woo. <laughs> Oh, no, not the hammer. Not today. <laughs> not today. I got hospitalized last year messing around that hammer. <laughs> Leroy, or should I call you Mr. Sudden Death? <laughs> this guy, they've, they've won two games the exact same way. The family has gone to sudden death. Leroy has been the guy to go out there and has won it for his team both times. And he's a relationship counselor. And uh, he knows a lot about that. So let's see you uh, get around this one right here, Leroy. Name something in his house a man might try to lift that would give him a hernia. His wife. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but this one's gonna cause a couple problems. Yeah, picking her up. Baby, carry me like you did when we first got married. <laughs> My man, how you feeling, man? Fantastic. Good. Thanks for Well, let's go, man. Give me a word or phrase that means naked. Can we say buck naked? No. Buck naked. Yeah. Buck naked. All right, good answer, good answer. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's different from regular naked now. You, when you buck naked, <laughs> you ain't even got flip-flops on. <laughs> you just buck naked. You just out there, just all, just all this out. All this out, all this out. Buck naked. <laughs> Rami? How you doing? Is it Rami? Yes, sir. My man. How you feeling, man? All right. We'll what do you do right. for a living, Rami? Same thing, new cars, but I also enjoy a nice pair of slacks, and <laughs> I like the feeling of shag carpet between my toes. Something I really like. <laughs> this is true story. Yeah, Rami. It's true. It's true. It's true. true. It's true. It's true. It's true. And <laughs> you thought you'd take this opportunity <laughs> on national TV to tell all the chicks out there that you like to feel a shag coming up between your toes. I mean, got that shag coming up between them toes, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> See you, Rami. You know, I ain't big sexy. Always one in the family. Tariq. My up, man. Steve? How you? How you feeling, man? Great, great. Happy to be here. Well. Very. I'm going to go for it. What do you do for me? I'm <laughs> not a car salesman. My man. My hobby is an MMA fighter, too, so. You're what? MMA fighter. You're an MMA fighter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You fight me, you wouldn't believe what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> you know, see, my fighting technique is this right here. <laughs> see, you have never heard of that. Put that in your little MAA repertoire. <laughs> Mixed martial arts right here. You know what I used to do? Because when I used to fight when I was a kid, I'd take this right here and stick it in one of your nostrils <laughs> and get tatted at something. Yeah. <laughs> Name something that gets arranged. This is easy for me because they're trying to do it to me. Marriages. Marriages. Oh, yeah, they're trying to arrange a marriage. I'm saying, I ain't having it, but. Yeah. <laughs> fight it, baby, fight it. Right. Let me tell you something. It's hard enough when you pick it. Don't <laughs> let nobody pick it for you. <laughs> Get out, run, don't do it, die, kill yourself. <laughs> I got a number of options for you, but please don't let them arrange one from you, Hussar. Oh, God, listen to me. <laughs> You're looking at a guy been in three of them, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Woo. Be all right. Boy, that was, this is a good moment for yeah, me. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah. 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 We're gonna get through this. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get through this thing, man. We're gonna make it through, baby. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you can stay at my house. Don't let us do it too. <laughs> Name something that gets arranged to marriage. 
Name something you measure in inches. A uh, man's private's part. <laughs> I can't tell me how many oh, inches some man know. is. And if it's on the... It's probably up there. <laughs> the private part's on, on a man. <laughs> tell me something you do right before you kiss someone. Soft talk them. <laughs> Soft talk. Oh, Soft talk. Soft talk. Soft talk. <laughs> 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 Ooh, threw me off a little bit. I, <laughs> I can't tell you what I thought he was going to... Soft talk him. <laughs> hey, Doug. See, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. But this is a new survey. These cats, they don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, you, before you yes, move see, in, you soft talk. The young people, too. Well, let me say something yeah. to you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You are, then yeah. you fire right on in there. As soon, yeah. as, as, soon as you get... <laughs> this is my man right here. You want to know something? Yeah. I got engaged two days ago. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Believe that? Wow. Yeah, she's pretty lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying all the wrong things. All of them. Dave, listen to me. Shut up. <laughs> You're going too far. <laughs> Isn't she the best thing that's ever happened to you? She's up there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Edit Jesus. that out. Edit that. Did you hear what he said? He said. Just take it off the show. Edit that out. Just take it out. You gotta know we're not taking that out. What? You just said she's up there. But what else is when you say she's up there? Like with what? Well, I was the captain of my high school baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. This, this guy <laughs> is really an idiot. <laughs> man. When a man and woman get too hot and heavy, name something they could break. Tom. A heart. A heart. The thing in your chest. What is, what is the Wayne? The Wayne? <laughs> Beanpole, yeah. Peace. Beanpole. Beanpole. <laughs> the question is something they could break. Sounds awful. Yeah. A broken beanpole. <laughs> I've been it. They had that puppy caught in the zipper a couple times, but never, <laughs> never broke it. Oh, God. Protected with my life. <laughs> you just want me to go to Rick, yeah, don't go you? Go to Rick. Go to Rick. Rick? Break the bit! <laughs> 37 years! Break the bit! My man, <laughs> I ain't even see you, baby. This gonna be good. <laughs> okay, Dave is engaged to be married. And how long you been engaged, Dave? Three days. Three days. Yeah. And I asked you yesterday, it was probably the highlight of your life, and you said it was? I said it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> What's up there with getting married, and you said? I was the captain of my high school baseball team. <laughs> that was good. And then under his breath, I went to him and I said, man, how's that as important as getting married? He said, hey, we won the league. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love this guy. And he's grinning like nothing's wrong. <laughs> love this guy, man. <laughs> hey, Dave, name a part of the body you have two of that you hope are the exact same size. Testicles. Oh <laughs> Love this guy, man. He's my favorite, my favorite guy. Thank you. He's my favorite guy. I love this guy. I don't even care if he's not up there. Testicles!
All right, Big T, let's go, man. Besides sleepwalk, name something you hate to find out you did while asleep. I'm gonna go with fart or either pass gas. Same thing. Fart or pass gas. Go with the fart or the pass gas. I've never heard it pronounced like that before. <laughs> you can go with the fart or you can pass gas. That's F A U R T E. Fart. Kind of like the fort. It was a big one. It was a fort. <laughs> the little one's a fart. The big one's a fort. It's like a fort. They built us a tempest. It's on a hill surrounded by a moat. It's protected by guards. Oh, yeah. Castle members, slings and arrows, I suffer. He was there lying there asleep and he farted. <laughs> All hell broke loose from the motherlands. They came chastising me. <laughs> Fart! <laughs> so noble an answer there. Farting. La Mika. Well then, you know, move some of your oh. hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know. La Mika. <laughs> oh, stupid old host. It's La Mika. What's the matter? What you, what, what, what? It's La Mika. What about it? Coming over here, you don't know nobody now. I don't know how you host it. Move your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Name something the chef might put in a complaining customer's food. I'm gonna say pubic hair. <laughs> you know, all this other hair. You got eyelashes. Easier to get to her. A lot of hair, much easier to reach. And I'm gonna put some hair in the food. Arm hair. You can really get a, a little underarm hair. That'll be good right there. You know, just brush a little bit in the back. Oh, no. No, not Latasha. Pubic hair. <laughs> You're giving it to you because you said hair. But trust and believe, that ain't the same thing. <laughs> Name something that some people do clothe, but others do in the nude. Clean. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Never done that, Nikki. In New York, we did. <laughs> Try it. Why not? Nah. I run that vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna have some problems. <laughs> I can't risk it. <laughs> Clean! Yeah. And that give me something that some people do clothe while others people do in the nude. Cook! <laughs> Good answer! No, no, it's not. Good I've had enough of y'all right here. Now hold on. <laughs> Cook naked? You why not? Are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, naked. Why not? On top of the stove? Well, frying, you're frying yeah. something naked. Bacon, bacon naked. <laughs> I bet you'll stop cooking naked. I tell you what, you put some bacon in there and start cooking, see uh, what happens. Uh, now, Annette, it's probably gonna be up there, but you're gonna stop arguing with me. <laughs> oh, who you are sitting up here gonna imitate me, huh? Okay, lady, to say what you think it is. Careful now. <laughs> oh, little nasty ass neck. Cooking naked. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> oh, my God. It's hot in here. I know. That's what I do. Never <laughs> <laughs> around with Big Daddy, girl. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Marion. It's so nice to meet you, How are you doing today? I'm doing real well. What do you do, ma'am? I am retired, a retired administrative assistant. Wow. Yeah. In education? No, I was in the private sector. Miss <laughs> 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 Merriam, I'm not... 
yeah. really sure what that means. Um, uh, that means that it was um, not in education. <laughs> Miss Miriam done been into some things we don't need to know nothing about, y'all. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that and let's just move on. <laughs> Name something specific you might worry about while going to the bathroom in the woods. That you might get a splinter in your butt. Might get a splinter <laughs> in yeah. your butt. Yeah. 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 Trying to figure out how you get this splinter in your butt. <laughs> I don't know, outside. but I'm sure it can happen. <laughs> Wiping yourself with a branch. <laughs> That's one way. And them leaves look a little rough. I'm taking this tree limb or this log. I'm gonna scrape this puppy. I'm gonna just take a shot at it. Oh God, that's painful. Yeah. All right, we're looking for get a splinter in your butt. <laughs> we talked to 100 men. Name something any woman can do to be sexy. I'm going to say uh, bat your eyelashes. Bat your eyelashes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Flutter, flutter. Bat your yeah. eyelashes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You feeling me? <laughs> you like it? Big Daddy, you like this here? <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hi. Once y'all put your hair on your tag, I'm lost. <laughs> what do you do, Emily? Well, can I first tell you that today oh. is my birthday? Oh, well, happy birthday. Thank you. It's also Sarah's birthday. And it's Sarah's birthday <laughs> on national TV. <laughs> How big is that, huh? Huge. You're going to be the woman at your job. Where do you work? Uh, I actually play ukulele in a local cabaret troupe here in Atlanta. What type of band is this? It's a cabaret troupe. We, it's like burlesque, but we don't always take off our clothes. <laughs> oh! You don't always take off your clothes. Well, I don't take off my but clothes. But sometimes, if it's going a little slow, <laughs> they ain't really feeling that ukulele. All right. Hey, y'all like it? Y'all ain't feeling it? Y'all ain't nothing? Y'all ain't getting it? Hold on. <laughs> How about now? Y'all like it now? You, all, you ain't feeling it? Huh? You hold on. Hold on. How about now? How about now? How about now? You like that? You like that? You can let it. You don't like it yet? How about this here? <laughs> Pow! How about now? Hey. Okay, Emily. You ready? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. Name something any woman can do to be sexy. I, th I think you've... Hey. I better have this one, so yeah. I'm gonna say dance. Dance! <laughs> dance! Oh. 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 Family. Oh. Oh. Here's your chance. Oh. Quinn, oh. we talked to 100 men. Name something any woman can do to be sexy. Steve, we're gonna say strip down to that birthday suit. <laughs> strip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grandmama? <laughs> Now, just last show, you was telling me how pleased and proud the church people was gonna be when they saw you on this show. You know, you know they still looking at you. Know. And here we are down at church, they finna find out what y'all was in that huddle talking about. Was. That woman was stripping down, getting naked right on down that birthday suit. Praise the Lord. Down to the getting naked! <laughs> Name something you should never have on your desk when the boss walks in. Steve, we're gonna say another person. Good answer. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Do you have another church you wanna go to? Because you're gonna be having to switch after this right here. All right, Miss Merriam, here we go. Another person on the desk. <laughs> Name something a man might worry about the day after a one-night stand. Smelling like sex. Smelling like sex. <laughs> Smelling like sex.
That's okay, Cindy. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Five, two, six. Don't worry about it. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Represent, yeah. represent. Woo, woo. Rap no. City. That's yeah. that old Long Beach. Snoop's from the LB. Yeah, he is. So, I know. Yeah, I know. You, you, VIP Records. VIP Records. Yeah. Wow. You know that? Yeah, I do. What the hell's going on? I do. I do. Woo, woo. <laughs> Hip hop is really taking over. <laughs> A little, a little too far. Uh, Five, six, two. Five, six, two. Gangsta rap. That's it. Yeah. 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 All right, here we go. <laughs> we ask 100 women. Name an occupation filled with sweaty, sexy men. How about one of those dancers, those, you know, yeah. dancers. Take yeah. it off. <laughs> Dancer, you know, like one of those. Yeah. those which, one, which one are you talking about, Sid? Those, you know, the, yeah. which the one? guys that those Chippendale kind of guys yeah. that they're sweaty yeah. and yeah, sweaty, yeah. sweaty, sexy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been there? You've been to some um, of them? Well, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Tom, you out selling all that Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife just went, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> take it. Oh, Calvin Wood. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me get some more information for you, Tom. <laughs> Do you remember his name? The sweaty, sexy dancer? Yes. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. No, but I know his area code. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know his area code. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> All right. Tom didn't know about this. We're breaking up families here on the Family Feud, folks. <laughs> Sweaty, sexy, hot, Chippendale dancer. Oh, my. <laughs> That's all right. Oh. Five, six, two. Oh. Been about to find another one down there, Tom. <laughs> Name the biggest complaint women have about the way men make love. Well... They don't, you know, mess around first. They just go to it. <laughs> You're kidding me, Cindy. No. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Huh? You know what I mean? Oh, I know exactly what she means. But this conversation is gold. <laughs> I just didn't know how to perfectly phrase it, but, you know. I know, just kind of just... You know. Yeah. yeah! Nobody likes that. You back, gotta... back! Back! Give me a minute! Get back! What are you doing? Get away from me! Stop it! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. All right, let me go down here before we flip that over. It's okay, man. Come on. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all right. All right. Everything about it. You're too fast. You're jumping the bones. And you got Chippendale dancing somewhere. Jeez, this is a tough day. Man, this ain't family feud. This is family's over. This is a whole nother game. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, been tough. It's a tough one, Steve. It's been a tough day for you, man. It is. Who's the best dressed game show host on television? <laughs> Caleb. Steve Harvey. My man. <laughs> well, if it ain't up there, we're gonna be some damn problems. <laughs> Steve Harvey! Uh, Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Yes. Alex Trebek. <laughs> Name a reason a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day. Get a line. A quickie. <laughs> Mr. Harvey, we are going to play. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, 
and yeah, I see y'all all right now. Just, you just knew that number one right off the day. Just went on, just ripped it off. Quickie! <laughs> Big Bird, how you doing, man? I'm great, thank you. What do you do for a living, sir? Um, Bert, Bert. <laughs> Bert, Bert, this ain't, yeah, yes, a lot of church folks watching. This ain't the time to start hesitating and lying now. <laughs> so what do you do, man? Um, I run a company in Marietta, Georgia that is uh, medical transcription, and it employs a lot of women uh, who work at home. Come on. Bert's lying on TV. <laughs> I, um... I have a company that employs women that stay at home. That's a form of prostitution, sir. <laughs> Name something that a bitter ex-wife might wish her ex-husband would lose. Uh, his ability to sexually perform is what I'm thinking, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Past ain't messing around. The way you get out here, I bet I don't get a strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got something for you. I got an answer now. You, bring, you come on down here. Pastor Ray got something for you. I hope you can't sexually perform because this should have caught on fire with your drawers. <laughs> hey, name a way you can tell a guy is wearing pants that are too tight. Adeline, how you doing? Adeline. Hi, Mr. Harvey. L I N E. Let's see if these names right here. Hi, Mr. Harvey. Who they getting on my nerves now? <laughs> She's the crazy person in the family. <laughs> His bulge is showing, Mr. Harvey. His yeah. bulge is packing. Right All Just out there. Right Just go right on yes. into it. Yes. Just do it. Manhood. Just go ahead. Right there. Don't right. even mess around with it with your little crazy stuff. No, no. I normally come in and reread the question. Just his bulge. Yes. It's just the, all this pack. It's packed. All this here, just potatoes. Yes. <laughs> oh, just a bushel. <laughs> all that. Yes, all of it. The package! <laughs> all right. Were you ready to try to save it? Yes, sir. Because the Rose family can steal. The zipper is barely holding on. The <laughs> zipper of the button barely holding. Barely. Yeah. yeah I'm still stuck in the ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, why your answer's all down there? <laughs> So all your answers is all down here. That's where my all her, is at. All her, uh, on the other show, all her answers down here. Oh, that zipper just, ooh, girl, I can't believe your zipper. Answer. Give me Danielle, give me Bird Dane. That was smooth. I like the way you do that again. Come go back and come back up here the way you Y'all ain't see that. That was hot right there. Come on in, Danielle. Do it. Hey, I can roll it. Yeah. I like that. Now, now you go back and show us how you walked in here. Work it now. Work it. Work it! That's what we're doing. Skate in or just bring it in. Either way. Charmaine? Yes. Hi, how are you? How are you? You're Karamo's mom. Yes, I am. Wow, very jazzy looking mom. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I see you. Thank you. Okay, well, that's good. Well, name something a wife might put in her husband's food if she's mad at it. Rat poison. <laughs> what? Rat poison. <laughs> That's why I'm the head of the family now. No, 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 that's why your mama's single. <laughs> Don't tell me, uh, that's why I'm the head of the family. No, that ain't the reason, partner. <laughs> uh. Name something a dog does that you hope your date doesn't do. Eric. Pee on you. Pee on you. Jessica. Bite you. Bite you. <laughs> you gonna pass the play. We gonna do, we gonna do. Play, play. We gonna play, Steve. Yeah, they gonna play. Steve, they gonna bite you. <laughs> see that answer, that biting you, see that ain't. <laughs> this, this can't be hard, that's all right there. <laughs>
<laughs> Just use your front teeth. Now, if you get all back on the jaw teeth, we got a problem. <laughs> Once you get it back out, ah, that's a different subject. <laughs> but if it's just Jeannie? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm great, Steve. How are you? What do you do for a living, dog? I am a pastor along with my husband. Pastor? <laughs> yes. That always tightens the host up a little bit. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. It's okay. You know. Relax. <laughs> it's okay. Jeannie, name something a dog does that you hope your date doesn't do. Bite me. I just did a whole run. <laughs> I just did a series of jokes about how biting really ain't that bad. Remember when I was over here doing it here? <laughs> I All know. This here? Now, I know you're the pastor and you don't want to hear this here, but. <laughs> Biting good for you now. Listen to me. I it's know. called nibbling. I know. <laughs> now, let's try this again, Pastor. Name something the dog does that you hope your date doesn't do. Bite me. No. Did I read it wrong? <laughs> Did I say it in Swahili? <laughs> Bite me has already been said now for the third time. <laughs> you done said it twice. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, boy, it's being a Christian hard. I'm telling you right now. Because <laughs> I want to tell this pastor something right here. Name something that a dog does that you hope your date doesn't do. Bark. Bark. Thank you. <laughs> Bark. <laughs> Prayer changes things. <laughs> Man. If you and Mindy come up with 200 points, tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> little, 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 little housewife be on it, boy. Mm, mm. Man, that 20,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> okay, Sandy, watch out. <laughs> I'm wild. <laughs> How you doing, darling? Good, nice well, to meet you. Good. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm the proud wife of this kingdom sexy man right here. We have four beautiful children. I'm a Christian author, a full-time student, and I just love serving God's people. Hallelujah! This <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna just be a game. This gonna be a service. Right. Amen. Come on. Hey, Yvonne. How you Hi. doing? I'm fine. Good. Mm -hmm. You married? Yes. Where's your husband? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Well, he actually had, has a reunion. What is a high school reunion? No, actually, it's a town reunion. Um, Wait, it's a town reunion? A town reunion. You're talking about where the town get back to The whole town. That's what from... he told you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to use that one. <laughs> Name the worst place to find a toenail clipping. In your mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> In your mouth! Because you're just wow, sitting up there. We are disgusting. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Yeah. Hey, Yvonne. Name something a wife might buy to put on the strip show for her husband at home. I would say uh, good smelling perfume. Good smelling yeah. perfume. Yeah. It's, all right. it's all right. Ain't nothing happening at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Yvonne. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me such good material, though. I've never heard of a damn town reunion. It's true, Steve. It's true. It's not true. Stop it. <laughs> this man is somewhere at a strip club right now. And Thomas Senior, you know better. Exactly. <laughs> You can hear well there's no such thing as a town reunion. Tell her that. I, I tried to tell her you she don't want to listen. You tried to tell her she don't want to listen. She don't want to listen. <laughs> 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 nice. 
<laughs> hey, Latanya, name something a wife might buy to put on the strip show for a husband at home. <laughs> Some whipped cream. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Must have found a couple of cans in your car <laughs> after the union. Whipped cream! <laughs> Miss Phyllis, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I, I take it that you probably somewhere just relaxing and watching over all these crazy kids. You do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been wrong a lot of times before, Miss Phyllis. I do I, a lot of relaxing, but not necessarily thinking of them. You don't be, oh. <laughs> oh you know what, Miss Phyllis? Bad you, answer. You, are, bad you answer. ain't got time for them, do you? I'm busy, that's right. That's right, you put a lot into these kids. That's right. Time. They did turn that good, did they? Yeah, they did. You got nice looking kids. I know. And, and they're, they're all working. And they're good to their mama. And they're good to their mama. <laughs> and you better be, Mr. Randy. <laughs> trouble out your mama down here. Cause we're gonna, which one, which one fights all the time, Rick or Randy? Who's the most trouble? Mark. Mark. <laughs> Is that why he ain't on the show today? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Phyllis, here we go. We got two strikes. Name something a man has that makes him think he's God's gift to women. How about a good personality? He's got a good personality. <laughs> Number seven. Number four. Eagles. Number two. Eagles. Don't need no hair. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you bend over to do. Rick. Pick something up. Pick something up. <laughs> Yvonne. Pray. Pray. <laughs> Pass the play. Yeah, we're playing. Right, we're play. Here. Go play. <laughs> yeah. Dear Lord, I was um, thinking over the days, maybe, you know, I've been going through a lot lately. I was just hoping maybe, Father God, that you would understand what I'm going through. It's been so hard on me lately. People seem to keep riding my back. Father, if you could just help. I mean, I'm sorry, Miss Phyllis. I'm a little ignorant sometimes. I try to, I try to. That's nice. Huh? That's nice. That's nice? Oh, you scared me. I was going Because, <laughs> you know, people let her, they grab your hand. You, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> she grabbed my hand. I went, oh, Jesus. No, no. Oh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Oh, Father, oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. oh Miss Phyllis, you scared me. <laughs> okay, here we go, ma'am. Name something you bend over to do. Have sex. <laughs> well, Miss Phyllis gonna slap taste out your mouth. What you ain't gonna do is come on this show on national TV and talk nasty in front of your mama, you ain't bending all over doing the nasty thing. And Miss Phyllis down there looking at my hands, scaring me to death. You know what I'm saying? No, Bill, you need to bend over and pray like the Rankin family <laughs> what you need to do. Let's look up there and bend over having that sex. <laughs> yeah! Name something you do in the nude on a hot day. Have sex. Yeah. Wow. You know, Mama's down there watching all this now. She Miss, taught us. She didn't teach you any of that. Let me ask you something, Miss Phil. Okay. Have you, have you ever spanked your kids? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's why they're so good. <laughs> That's why they're Except so good. Except the potty mouth, but. Except for potty mouth, <laughs> a little nasty right there. <laughs> well, which one you talking about? Cause the last show it was her. They're having a contest on you, mama. That's what they're doing. You're gonna have to bust them up good. Mm -hmm. Film it for me, okay? <laughs> have sex. 
<laughs> Marie, how you doing? I'm today? doing fine. How you Never doing? Never met you, darling. What do you do for a living? I'm a bookkeeper, and I take care of this family. Yeah, yeah. you're the head of it. I'm the uh, head, the head queen. Of the I'm the queen. Bill's the king, right? No, no, no. I'm the queen. <laughs> No, he's the king. Yeah, well, if you want to call him. Okay. <laughs> he's my man, though. Oh, he's your man? He's okay. My man. You can call him that if you want to. He ain't running nothing at this house. <laughs> Name something an audience might do if they don't like a performance. <laughs> Marie. Boo! 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 We're playing. You better I know it. I ain't even asking. We're That's playing. right. Thank you. She said, we're playing. I ain't even asking. <laughs> Stupid family, do what I tell them to do. Right. Sitting over here asking. I told you I was needed. <laughs> She's a I'm, We're playing, and I'm not even asking. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Phyllis, how you doing? Man? I do good. You doing Almost. okay? Yeah, I've been good. I'm a little, I'm a little ashamed right now. Because, uh -huh. uh -huh. you know, I love you and, you know, uh, uh -huh. I was raised right. Uh -huh. So I want you to know this question I'm going to ask you, Miss Phyllis. I, I don't approve of this question at all. Okay. You want to throw it out? No, I can't okay. throw it out. Okay. It's them little dirty producers we have. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you this right here as respectful as I can. If you're, you know, the... Think your sex life had a remote control. <laughs> Name a button you'd hit a lot. Change the channel. <laughs> Give me something else. <laughs> I'm gonna like it like, come on now. <laughs> How are you, sir? Fine. How you doing, Steve? What do you do for a living, man? I'm a professional basketball player. I just came professional out. Professional basketball player? Yes, sir. Where? I played in Libya, and I just came out that war. Libya? Yes. And you just came out the war? Out the war, yes. Well, you was pretty glad to come home, wasn't you? I was ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, ain't no need to be in over there. Skip that. You play you point guard? Point guard. Yeah. Come up nice, huh? <laughs> do <Ooh>. all right. <laughs> <laughs> What I did. I see. This would be my game. Name something people check to see if it smells bad. We're gonna go with hair. <laughs> hair. Hair. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I'm just trying to figure out what hair I'm gonna smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this mustache. Darling, name something that you carry in your pockets that a man shouldn't carry in his Speedo. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be good. <laughs> no. It's going to be good. No, I'm going to say that. <laughs> what do you think it is, Miss Phyllis? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that it's probably, I don't know exactly what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. You want to say it? I'm I don't, sure but wish I you would. I can't. I have my children here. Don't worry about it. You got your children I here. I got my children <laughs> here. Well, come on, Miss Phyllis. What is it? <laughs> this is better than anything. Say it. Go ahead. No. I bet it's up there. Say it. Oh, I got to come up with something, though. Um, toothpick. <laughs> Oh, God, I love my job. <laughs> a tooth, a I toothpick. <laughs> hey, Steph, nice how you, you doing? Good, how are you? This wonderful mother of two, two skydives. All right. <laughs> are you afraid when you do it? Yes. <laughs> I've never understood fun and fear in the same sentence. That's, like, that's why I don't do roller coasters. I, I don't get it. You click, 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 click. Oh, 
that was so much fun. <laughs> All right, Seth, here we go. If someone's in the bathroom longer than five minutes, name something they might be doing. Cleaning it. Cleaning it. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, Megan. Hi. Young Megan just graduated from high school, started your own charity. Anything else you want to tell me about yourself? I'm going to be a third grade religious education teacher in the fall. Sunday school teacher. <laughs> no, I know, because my mom was a It's Sunday not taught school. on Sundays, it's taught Mondays. <laughs> well, what you do is on Mondays, you just teach them what sins you commit after Sunday. E exactly. That's all it is. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I'm about to say one right now. <laughs> You're about to say one what? A sin that you could commit between oh. Sunday and Monday. Well, what sin is that? Playing with yourself. <laughs> In the bathroom. Oh, that's the answer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's your answer. Oh. I really couldn't oh, think of it. Oh, my God. I was going, we're going to hell. I was only kidding. You can I didn't come to really, school. I my shut God. up. <laughs> You can come to Sunday school. We're going to be discussing it on Monday. What are you talking about? You're taking the joke too far. OK, Dan, here we go. Name something that might be described as hot, hot, hot. Three seconds. Three seconds. Oh. <sighs> Kelly Clarkston. What? Kelly Clarkston. <laughs> I love you, Glenn. You're the best, worst player I've ever seen. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson! Yeah! 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 I got one. I got one. Man. <laughs> yes, sir. The best, worst player I've ever seen. No strikes, Glenn. No strikes. <laughs> but we've come down here with you several times with no strikes. And yes, sir. Somehow we always walk away with one. Glenn, name something a person might do right after eating a big Thanksgiving dinner. Have leftovers. <laughs> right there. Right after. Right after you get through eating. Grand big old Thanksgiving dinner. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat some leftovers. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I love this guy. Huh? I love you, man. Just that, man. I don't disappoint, huh? I tell you what, if y'all win a car, it ain't gonna be cause of you. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Woo! This family, they winning from here down. Yeah, that's my man. Well, Greg, name something a man might be holding when sitting on the couch watching TV. I like to hold my wife on the couch. Good answer. Um, that's that's a great answer. That's I don't it. know if it's up there, but the brownie points that you're gonna score you for it. that answer alone. Alone. Woo! You got it. You are the man. You got it. Holding your woman. That's what's important. Name something your dog watches you do at home in the nude. Patricia. Whippy! Huh? <laughs> Whippy. I don't have a dog. <laughs> your dog is in your room with no. you and your man just sitting there, just knee in knee, and your dog's gonna need therapy. Oh boy, here's my national TV confession. Dance. Yeah! Yeah, naked. Yeah, at the house of Zumba, yeah. Naked. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, get it, get it. Yeah. Okay, hit it. 
Benny Frank's hot, there's room at the top. Yeah. Never gonna stop, don't listen to the talk. Nah. Lace them up, homie, let's see what you got. There's, there's room, room at the, the top. top, room, room, room at the, the top. top. I'm going up north, north. never going south. south. You get in my way, I'ma bust you in the mouth. Ha. Take yeah. it to the top, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. Never could see me on my hot route. Don't do it for the fame, but for the love, love of the game. game. You don't feel the same, then you shouldn't have came. came. You better play smart and use, use your brain. brain. Everybody knows Benny, Benny Frank's the name. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's always room at the top. Yeah. All right, Abe, let's go, man. We talked to 100 men. Name something you'd wipe with if you couldn't find any toilet paper. There's nothing in here. I'd have to use my underwear. <laughs> Just use underwear. your underwear. <laughs> See, a lot of women in the crowd, you're going, what? <laughs> you just don't understand the depth of a man's mind. <laughs> we talked to 100 single women. Name something you'd hate to discover your boyfriend doesn't want to have. An STD. <laughs> Good answer! Yeah. Good answer, yeah! <laughs> Makes sense. STD! <laughs> Name something you'd like to be hypnotized to stop doing? Sex. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Miss Pastor, this is the second time y'all said sex now. <laughs> I got to come to your, what's the name of y'all's church? Divine Impact. Divine Impact, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right now. Key word, impact, all right. Here we go. We're looking for sex at the Divine Impact Church to redeem them. Hey. How you doing? Good, man. Tell me something a disgruntled employee might do to their boss's car. Uh, put a potato in the tailpipe. Put a potato in the tailpipe. Hey, you know... Hey, you know that constitutes murder, don't you? <laughs> And you put the potato in the tailpipe, and then it goes up in it. Because you know the purpose of putting the potato in the tailpipe is to push the... Blow up the car. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, all right, let's just... Uh, what are you talking about honey for? Hell, you married the man. All right, let's go. It's going to put the potato in the car and kill the man. There you go. We all know about Wienergate. But what's the sexiest thing you've sent someone a photo of? A photograph in a bathing suit. Chuck, Chuck! Chuck! That's pretty. You sent Chuck, you, you what? Yes. Chuck, the kids are right there. I know what they're, doing. they're old enough. They're old enough. They're now. old enough yeah. to know Chuck sent a picture of his sexy self laying across the bed with a bathing suit on. You sent a woman a picture of yourself in a swimming suit? Yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah like, a, like a Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chuck. <laughs> Chuck A. Yeah. Chuck and Chuck, oh, boy. Man. You were doing it back in the day. Yes. Just sit it right up there. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. What, you, what you want? Ha, <laughs> ha. I got it. Check it out. That's right. <laughs> I like it on my <laughs> Christian is going, Steve, I'm right here. It's my father, stop. No, that ain't just your daddy. Yeah. That's Big Chuck. That's right. That is right. That's, That's different, it. baby. Eileen, yeah. didn't know that about Chuck, did you? No. It's hot. <laughs> well, throw up a little bit, don't you? <sighs> Name something you wouldn't want to last for four hours. Sex. Here we go, man. Name something women like to squeeze, Pastor. Their breast. <laughs> Don't even... Good answer, good answer. That... No, it's not a good answer. <laughs> Pastor, listen to this question. What's something women like to squeeze? Not you. <laughs> Pastor, you just 
<laughs> their breasts. You know? But Pat, what was this, though? <laughs> their breasts. Good answer, Pastor. And as a pastor, that, when we come together <laughs> and we join in fellowship, <laughs> we try to hold one another <laughs> up in prayer, <laughs> hoping that some way, somehow, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> we will all get delivered and brought right on back to the promised land. Hey, okay, Pastor. <laughs> but something women like to squeeze, Pastor said, their breast. <laughs> Hey, John, how you doing? Good, Steve. How are you? Good. Well, John, name something that makes people frisky. I'm going to say, uh, how about an adult movie? <laughs> an adult movie? <laughs> Steve, come on. Yeah, I'm just telling you, your answer, you the one said it. Well, Steve, come on now. <laughs> you said it. His mom's in the audience. His mom's in the audience. <laughs> he the one said it. I didn't know his mama was here. You shouldn't have said Hell, you say it, folks. If you know your mama sitting out here, you nasty. Now, what else you got, Mr. Nasty? Uh, I, I'm gonna Name clean. something else that makes people frisky. I'm going to clean it up this time. I'm going to go with oysters. Oh, yeah. You think we don't know what you really say? <laughs> I'm going to clean it up, call it oysters. You know what's going on with them oysters. Little slippery wet things going down your throat. Yeah, I'm talking, well, I know it. That's what I'm talking about. Oysters, then the porn. Hey. You there. Hey. Karen? On, Karen. I think I have to dirty it back up a little bit again. Well, hell, he ain't far I know, I know. Damn, John just said porn on and some oysters. Oh, well, it's going to get it. It's going to get it. How about dirty talk? Oh. Yeah. That happens in between the porn and the oysters. See right there, and yeah. it's John, John. You know what John said? That happens between the porn and the oyster. <laughs> See, doing all he wants to do like that there, take that oyster, slide it down there, <laughs> then say something nasty, <laughs> and press play, and all hell will break loose. <laughs> Name something that seems to come up when you least expect it. I'm gonna say a doctor's appointment. Good answer, good answer. Doctor's appointment. Oh. Good answer, good answer. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> See, the question is, name something that seems to come up when you least expect it. If you made the appointment. <laughs> Winton. How you doing, Steve? My youngest son's name is Winton. No, it's not. Yes, he is. What do you do for a living, Winton? I, uh, I study at Niagara University. I play Division I baseball there. And uh, currently, I'm trying to grow out the fro like you used to. That's all the plays do. <laughs> trying to grow out the fro, baby. Mom, I'm going to the major leagues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, mama. I'm going, mom. I promise. I promise, Mom. I'm going. I love you so much. Thank you for everything, Mom. Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for supporting me. I can't do this without you. I love you so much. Here's the 2-1. Tap toward third. And Bernard is set. Oh, first check down. Yeah, they're going to check Either that way. Hilliard's at third. The crowd, for several reasons, is arguing for what? Buddy vociferously. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. And there is the first major league hit for Winton Bernard, the 31-year-old rookie. That's one of the happiest reviews in the history of Coors Field. <laughs> 